It's Nick Mesny here with Jay Catton after the Nomads 3-1 victory over Denby and the Nathaniel MG Cup. Jay, a good victory? Yeah, always a good victory. You know, um, the Cup games are good. You got under the floodlights, you're playing a great team in Denby Town. You know, won the competition last year, knocked us out in the semi-final. And, you know, they're coming here full strength. You know, they've improved on what they were last year. So we're in better opposition. And with the amount of games we've had of late, you know, it's clear we rested half of the team. You know, four youngsters finished on the, on the pitch with uh, free starting. And, you know, to defeat a team like that 3-1 was superb. And you, you referenced the, the academy lads there. They all played really well as well as just being in the team sort of thing. They all featured really well. Yeah, it's a brilliant one. You know, we've always prided ourselves at the Football Club Academy. And I think... Um, tonight, Luke, Jake Leonard, and Connor Hall would make it 30 graduates in five years, which is the, the most in Wales, which is a great achievement for everyone involved from the academy up. But what was important, they didn't just play. You know, the one thing that's changed out of the club, it's not, it's not a case of, oh, they've got an appearance that's great, it's the case that they're playing and they're performing. You know, they grew into the game, all started a little nervy, you know, as expected. But I think, uh, in particular, the last half an hour, 40 minutes, Connor Harwood, Luke Blizzard, outstanding. Um, and in full credit to substitute Jake Leonard because. When Jake came on, he changed the game. You know, he had great energy around the place, wanted to get on the ball, and the three of them superb. And then for Jordan Manley to get the last 20 minutes, and even in that environment, it's a little bit tight, a bit edgy. You know, he didn't concede some great kicks. So, you know, really good night for everyone involved. From the the usual first teamers, great to see Mike Wilde get a double, and also great to see John Disney get on the score sheet as well. Yeah, brilliant. You know, it's like any club. You, you know, it's great, and a lot of people talk about the youth players, but ultimately the senior players, phenomenal because. Your John Disney, Jay Owens, um, who've played consistently now for six months to still come into a game like tonight, perform how they did, and the encouragement for players and leadership was superb. You know, there's then players who haven't been playing of late, um, Michael Wilde won his goals outstanding, you know, your Lewis Shorts and whatnot have all come into the team and performed. So, you know, we've got still some performances were good enough, some weren't, you know, still at, in, in total that ends in a good performance by us. You know, low one three one I think we've underperformed as a whole group poorly, but there was a lot of good individual performances in there. And now we just have to go again against Bangor a week on Sunday. Yeah, massive Nick and you know, the one thing from last year is that we've when Andy came in from November it's been so intense and full on. You know, we went when he came in, the whole battle was week in, week out to get top six, we made it. But then come to the end of the season we then made the playoffs, which was extended the season by another three, four weeks. We then made Europe, which then we went to Ireland continuously and come back. We then did Norway, we won, did Serbia, and then the season started two weeks earlier than previous. So it has been consistent now for not far off 12 months, you know, 11 months. So it's a nice, very small break, you know, they're getting off and we'll be back in next week preparing for Bangor, which is another massive, massive game, you know. I think if we were honest, if we perform like the way we did tonight, we won't get anything from Bangor. You know, we've got to be a lot better than that, we've got to be a lot sharper than that, and a lot more intense than that. But it's going to be a massive game, it's going to be a big crowd, I think second versus third, and every game you play Bangor City is a huge game and a huge test, and really looking forward to it. Great stuff, cheers mate.